What's up guys, Ammar here and in this video I will talk about the new announced Sony AX700 camcorder. Guys, if you are new to this channel, in this channel I have unboxing and reviews for the latest technology gears and gadgets, photography, videography tips, camera reviews and gaming. So consider to subscribe. Guys, if you are following my channel and watching my videos, you will know I'm using the Sony AX100 4K camcorder to shoot videos. This is my favorite video camera. Actually, I like this camera and I'm enjoying using it because it is packed with a lot of features and these features, it is making the life of filmmaker very, very easy. From the one inch image sensor, to the ND filters, to the articulating screen, to the zoom range, to everything about this camera is just amazing. And now Sony is taking this camera to the next level and upgrading it to the Sony AX700. In this video guys, we will talk about the Sony AX700, we will talk about the new features and we will compare it with my favorite camera, the Sony AX100. First thing guys, the image sensor. The new image sensor with the AX700 is a stacked Exmor ES CMOS sensor. This is a new sensor compared to the old one used in my AX100, which is the back illuminated Exmor R CMOS sensor. The new one is a stacked Exmor RS CMOS sensor. New image sensor, but it is the same size. It is one inch image sensor. With one inch image sensor, you will be able to have cinematic lock and you will be able to have the nice shallow depth of field. So now a new image sensor and this image sensor for sure because it is a new one, enhanced one, even if it's the same size, you will for sure have better low light performance as usual with every new camera and you will have also sharper videos. With the new camera, you will get 273 focus points with face detection. As per Sony, now Sony is taking the focus system of the AX series to the next level. The new camcorder will be able to focus faster and more accurate. Already I can see the focus system with my AX100, it is amazing, but by having 273 focus points face detection with the ability to move the focus from one place to another using the touch screen on the AX700, the new coming camera, this will be really, really amazing. The new AX700 will shoot in 4K as well, like the AX100, but what is new here and what is the major upgrade? The AX700 will allow us to shoot in 4K HDR, high dynamic range with HLG, hybrid log gamma. Now, the ability to shoot 4K HDR using one inch image sensor in the AX700, we will get a cinematic lock and we will get high dynamic range footage. And by just shooting using this camera without spending too much time and efforts in the editing later, we will get an amazing videos ready out of the camera and without spending too much time in the editing softwares for color grading or such things. For the lens, the Sony AX700 will use the same amazing lens we have in the Sony AX100. This lens, guys, it is made by Zeiss, and we know the partnership between Zeiss and Sony. Sony, they are making the camera bodies, the image sensors, and the Zeiss, they are making the optics. So now, this is an amazing lens, guys. It is a fixed lens. It is a fixed lens and it is attached to the body. You cannot remove it. This is not an interchangeable lens camera. And this lens, guys, will cover from 29 millimeter up to 348 millimeter. So from wide angle to a long telephoto range. And if you want to cover the same range using interchangeable lens body, you need to buy many different lenses to be able to cover the same focal length. I can tell you guys, this lens, it is really sharp, 
I'm getting sharp results using this lens with my Sony AX100. And by having the new image sensor and the new focus system with the AX700, we will get even sharper and better results. This lens, it comes with 12x optical image zoom and with the amazing technology from Sony, clear image zoom, you can go up to 18x clear image zoom while you are shooting 4K and up to 24x clear image zoom if you are shooting full HD. As per Sony, the new AX700 will come with an enhanced viewfinder. This is the viewfinder of the Sony AX100. Guys, by the way, the AX100 and the AX700, they share the same body and the same shape. So if you will see the two cameras, it's almost impossible to tell the difference until you catch both cameras close to you and try to figure what is the differences. The two bodies almost the same. And the viewfinder, in my Sony AX100, it's already an amazing viewfinder. As per Sony, the AX700 will come with an enhanced viewfinder. For me, usually I'm shooting using the LCD screen, but I really enjoy using the viewfinder in a sunny days because it is very hard to look to the screen in a sunny day. It will be dark, so you need to look to the electronic viewfinder to see the details and to see your footage. The Sony AX700 also will come with an enhanced LCD screen where you can touch to move the focus from one area to another. The Sony AX700 will have enhanced menu system. Now, the menu system with my Sony AX100, it is more like consumer camera. It is the same the menu system in the AX53 and the AX33. It is more like consumer camera. But with the AX700, the menu system will be more professional and it will be inherited from professional cameras like the FS7 and the FS5. Now for the image stabilization, the Sony AX700 will have the same image stabilization system in the AX100. To be honest guys, this is not the best image stabilization solution. I'm not sure why they did not upgrade to a better image stabilization system. And by the way, they have already. The camera I'm using now to shoot this video is the Sony AX53. And this camera, it comes with amazing image stabilization system. It is the BOSS Balanced Optical Steady Shoot. It's an amazing image stabilization system where the, the whole lens it is floating like you are holding the camera and the lens internally it is floating like it is in a side a gimbal to stabilize the footage. I like the image stabilization system with my consumer camera, the AX53, more than my AX100. The image stabilization with the AX100, it just works fine for full HD, but it is not fine for 4K. When you start shooting 4K, you will start getting more shaky footage. And the AX 700 will have the same image stabilization system. So if you are considering to shoot with the AX100 and the AX700 while you are walking handheld, you need to consider to have some kind of hardware image stabilization solution. When we are talking about video, it is very important to talk about frame rates. The frame rates with the Sony AX700 will be the same frame rates used in the AX100. Now, with 4K, 
you can go up to 30 frames per second with the NTSC version and up to 25 frames per second with the PAL version. If you are shooting full HD, you can go up to 60 frames per second for the NTSC version and up to 50 frames per second for the PAL version. You can shoot slow motion also. You can go up to 100 frames per second slow motion with the PAL version while shooting in full HD and you can go up to 120 frames per second slow motion shooting full HD with the NTSC version and the slow motion only available with the full HD. This camera also will support super slow motion. You can go up to 960 frames per second for the NTSC version and 1000 frames per second for the PAL version. But there will be a lot of degradation in the image quality while shooting super slow motion and also there will be a recording limit. With the new camera guys, we will have S-Log2 and S-Log3. This is really, really important. This will make our life very easy if we want to implement some kind of color grading during the editing. We will get as well picture profile, pre-configured and customizable picture profiles. This is very nice. For the microphone, guys, the microphone with the AX100, it is Zoom microphone. This is the built-in microphone. And with the AX700, it's going to be stereo microphone. To be honest, guys, I don't rely on the internal microphones while shooting videos. Always I use external microphones because the sound quality will be way, way better. For the HDMI, yes, we will get HDMI port with the AX700, but this time it's not going to be micro HDMI. This will be full-sized HDMI port. This is very important. If you are connecting your camera to an external monitor or external recorder, it's better to have full-sized HDMI port. It will be more steady and more stable, so it will not get out from the port while you are recording or while you are sending your footage to an external monitor. The new Sony AX700 will support dual memory cards. So we will be able to shoot to two memory cards at the same time. If something happened to one of the memory cards, still you have backup. You have a second footage on the second memory card. You can use it. So you will be in a sit better situation if something happened to your memory cards. This is very important. This is a pro feature. I really want to see all cameras, still and video cameras, supporting dual memory cards. This is very, very important. I don't have this feature in my Sony AX100, and I'm really happy to see such feature with the AX700. Now the AX700 getting more and more features from the pro level, cameras like the dual memory cards, the ability to shoot with S-Log2 and S-Log3, the ability to shoot HDR videos. This is an amazing combination of features packed in this small body. Really, really great achievement for Sony. The Sony AX700 will come with Sony multi-interface hue, so you can connect compatible accessories from Sony. One thing I want to highlight here, with my Sony AX100, I have the Sony multi-interface shoe, but the door is really, really small. When you open this door, this area, it is really small area. You will not be able to connect accessories from third-party companies like Rode, microphones, or something like this. You will be able to connect only accessories from Sony. And to solve this issue, you need to buy adapter to convert the Sony multi-interface shoe to standard shoe adapter. But with my Sony AX53 camcorder, I don't have this issue. I have enough space here to be able to connect third-party accessories. I hope with the AX700, we will have the same shoe in the AX53. The Sony AX700 will be available in October and the price will be $1,900. Now, if you go and check the price for the brand new AX100, the price is 
$1,700. So the difference is $200. But for the $200, you are getting better camera. You are getting better image sensor, enhanced focus system. You are getting HDR videos, S-Log2 and S-Log3, better menu system, and you will get as well dual memory cards. So it's a major upgrade. So if you are going now to buy a camera that you can use it for YouTube, for documentary, for shooting films, I highly recommend to go for the AX700. I cannot now direct anyone to the AX100 just to save $200, unless you are looking for used AX100. If you are looking for a used AX100, so you can get it by $1,000, then yes, go for it. But if you are buying brand new camera, it is really hard to justify to go to the AX100 while now a lot of TVs start to be available in 4K HDR. So you can shoot HDR videos and enjoy the high dynamic range footage in your living room. But Sony did not stop there. They also announced another two cameras. They announced the NX80, which is simply AX700 with handler and XLR inputs. So you will have professional audio quality with the NX80 and all the features with the AX700. And this NX80 will cost $2,400. And they announced also the Sony Z90. The Z90, it is an AX700 with the handler and XLR inputs, but also it will add SDI connections. So you can use it in a more like live broadcasts. So it's a more pro camera packed with more pro features. And the NX80 along with the Z90 will be available in December 2017. So guys, I used to recommend the AX100 as a video camera for all video and filmmaking enthusiasts because it's an amazing camera. It is packed with an amazing electronic viewfinder, amazing LCD screen, touch LCD screen, and articulating screen, so you can see yourself while you are vlogging or while you are shooting YouTube videos. Also, this camera, it comes with manual controls. You can control your iris, your shutter speed, your gain, and you can control your exposure. You will have full control over your videos. And it comes with amazing battery options. You can shoot for hours and hours, and there is no recording limit like mirrorless cameras and DSLRs. You can shoot for hours with no issues at all. And it comes with built-in lens from Zeiss. This lens, it is really amazing. It covers huge range. You cannot get such pack with a DSLR or mirrorless camera. And also, before I forget, you have also ND filters. ND filters, it is really important to block the amount of light coming to your camera in a sunny day. You can watch my review about the ND filters with the AX100 using this link. And the AX700 even taking this experience to the next level by adding HDR 4K, by adding S-Log2, S-Log3, and a lot of other professional features. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to hit the like button for me if you like this video. Share the video if you want to share, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notification every time when I'm sharing a new video, and I will see you all in the next video. Guys, don't leave. Still, you can watch these videos.